from MTN and MontanaSports.com. This is Sunday Night Sports. Hello, everybody. Another weekend of tournament basketball is in the books. Many of you have no doubt spent several nights in loud gyms over the past few weeks. But do you ever ask yourself, is it loud for the wrong reasons? Last month, the MHSA released an op-ed titled Dear Mom and Dad, Cool It, telling parents and fans to stop the growing trend of verbal criticism towards officials. We went straight to the referees to see just how big of a problem it is. Here's MTN's Jack Ginsburg. In the article, it shows a number of nationwide stats that were pretty shocking. According to the National Association of Sports Officials, more than 75% of all high school officials say adult behavior is the primary reason they quit. And 80% of all young officials quit after just two years. One former Billings ref, Cedric Snelling, quit this year after 11 years of refereeing. When we asked why he stopped, he said it was a buildup of abuse that became too much after one specific incident. I made a correct ruling via what the rule book would say, and um, the crowd just kind of, and coach for that matter, came down on me really hard. So to get really um, verbally assaulted, I guess is the best way to put it, over something I knew I, I got right, and to get told how terrible I was, kind of just set me off into this, I, I don't really want to be doing this anymore. The further east in Montana you go, the more it seems refs are needed. When I started 30 years ago, we had 130 officials. Um, in, the, in our Billings pool, we have 50. The eastern part of the state, we're all struggling trying to not only recruit, but then retain the officials that we get. Some places aren't experiencing as many of these problems. Missoula, for example, is in a college town, and while they could always use more refs, they aren't hurting. Locally here, we've been pretty lucky. We uh, draw off the University of Montana students a little bit and whatnot. Um, so we've been pretty lucky. Our numbers are pretty solid. We're at about 85 bodies in our pool. But the Montana Officials Association has a hard time retaining them, and that can be due to parental verbal abuse. You know, if parents would give those younger guys a break and uh, help them, I think it would help us recruit and retain officials. <laughs> Most of the older refs we talked to had become used to the yelling and can almost tune it out or even make fun of it at this point. There's a lot of good officials in the stands. <laughs> but while that may be the case, Snelling says the abuse is worse the younger the kids are, making it harder to retain those first time refs. For brand new officials to go out and try to referee a lower level of basketball like that, but yeah, get treated probably the worst of any level is really hard. Moving forward, there aren't many clear or new options that have been brought to the table, but Snelling says he thinks if there were more defined consequences, it would help. And if you're one of those parents or fans that finds yourself yelling at the refs or frustrated with the game, Whitmire says there are plenty of refing spots still open and available. In Missoula, Jack Ginsburg, MTN Sports. If you want to take Whitmire up on his offer, you can sign up to be a licensed ref at highschoolofficials.com. Remember, if there aren't any referees, there won't be any games.